In this video, I'll be talking about 1-5, comparing and ordering decimals. When we're talking about ordering decimals, we're talking about putting them in order from either greatest to least or least to greatest. There are three easy steps that you can take to order decimal numbers. So let's say I had the numbers 3.576, 3.433, 3.582. The first step is to line them up, which I did. I stacked them one on top of the other. And we're going to compare um, digits of the same place value. So I'm looking at all these three one's place values, and they're all three. So that's not going to help me determine which is least and which is greatest. But when I look at the tenth spot, I notice that this middle one has a four in the tenth spot, which is smaller than the fives in the other tenth spot. So I know that the least is 3.432. Your next step is to repeat. I'm going to repeat that same process, keeping them lined up, but now I'm comparing the next place value spot. So now, I'll be looking at the hundredth spot. I notice that the top number has a seven in the hundredth spot and the bottom number has an eight in the hundredth spot, which means that the top number is smaller than that bottom number. So I'm gonna put it next in my list from least to greatest, 3.576. Your last step is to write them in order from least to greatest. So I already did those two, so I crossed them off, and now I know that my greatest is 3.582. Make sure that you are paying attention to the directions, whether it's least to greatest or greatest to least. Sometimes you'll just be given two decimal numbers, and you will need to use either the greater than, the less than, or the equal to symbol to compare the two numbers. So let's say I had... 3.692 and 3.697. And in this box, I need to put one of these above symbols that will correctly compare the two numbers. What I'm going to do is follow the steps in the last um, slide. So I will stack them, 3.697, and start comparing their decimal places from left to right. We're going to start with the biggest number first, and then we'll get a little bit smaller each time if they still haven't shown any difference in that place value spot. So the ones place value spot, they both have a three. So let's get a little smaller. The tenths place value spot, they both have a six. So I don't really know which is bigger yet. In the hundredths place value spot, they both have a nine. Again, I'm still not sure which is bigger because they're the same so far. But now once I get to the thousandths place value spot, this top number has a two and this bottom number has a seven. So they each have three ones, six tenths, nine hundredths, but this top one has less thousandths than the bottom one. So this bottom number is just a little bit bigger than the top number. So remember, think about your greater than and less than signs like an alligator. The alligator mouth eats the bigger number because it's really hungry. So it's gonna eat this number here because we said that is bigger. We're going to do another example where we need to compare using the greater than, the less than sign, or the equal sign. I have 0 0.790 in that box. I'm going to put one of my symbols and 0 0.79. I'm going to stack these guys up so that I can easily compare them. Okay, they both have 0 ones, 7 tenths, 9 hundredths. Now the difference lies in this Last place value spot, the thousandths. One has a zero and one has nothing. Well, having nothing is the same as having a zero there. So actually, these two decimals, while they look a little bit different, are the same. So we will put the equal sign. I'm going to show you one more example with multiple um, decimal numbers, and we are going to need to put these guys in order from least to greatest. So when you read those directions super carefully, 
What I like to do is on my answer line, I always put an L over here for least and a G over here for greatest so that I make sure that I'm writing the least to the greatest. I'm gonna go ahead and stack these numbers. You don't have to stack them, but this is just an easier way to be able to visually see the differences in each place value spot. So it's kind of helpful to line them up by place value since that's what we're looking at, but you don't have to. They all have two ones. So the ones place value spot isn't gonna really help me. But now I'm gonna look at the hundredth spot. These two down here, I'm sorry, tenth spot. These two down here have eight tenths, so they're a little bit smaller. So what I'm gonna do is kind of break this apart here. I'm gonna start looking at those bottom two. I know they both have eight tenths, so now I'll look at their hundredth spot. This top one has less hundredths than 2.841, so it is the smallest number there is, 2.830. And then this one is a little bit bigger than that, 2.841. I'm gonna cross those off because I've already put them in order. Now we'll go back to the top numbers. I've set those aside because they had more tenths than those bottom two numbers, so automatically they're bigger. Now let's look at the hundredth spot of those top two numbers. The top number has a one in the hundredth spot, and the bottom has a zero. Since one hundredth is bigger than zero hundredths, this top number would be the greatest, 2.912, which means that 2.909 falls right there. All right, hopefully you are feeling like you could line up your numbers and put them in order from least to greatest. And here are your numbers. 8.541, 8.314, 8.598, and 8.8. 8. Remember, when you have something like 8.8, .8, we talked the other day that zeros at the end are equivalent. So 8.8 .8 is the same as 8.800. .8 that might help you out a little bit. Good luck. Write this on your blue sheet and bring it with you to class tomorrow.